The Clinton Global Initiative is announcing their new action network will now provide aid to Ukraine. But the Clintons have a shady history when it comes to helping other nations. Here to break it down is Judicial Watch President Tom Fenton. Tom, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So the situation in Ukraine and all the tax dollars that are going over there seems shady enough to me, but now we've added the Clintons to this. What do you make of that? What could go wrong? Well, the first thing I would highlight <laughs> I mean the first thing I would highlight is obviously Hillary wants to run for president. You know, why would she be taking this prominent role again? First Clinton Global Initiative meeting in six years. And previously the foundation, the Clinton Global Initiative is a project of the foundation. You know, as we uncovered through the emails of the State Department, the Clintons had been using the foundation as a pass through. <clears throat> Uh, for influence peddling, and yeah. uh, they were donors were treated, giving special favors at the State Department, despite promises. And of course, a lot of money came from guess where, Russia, Ukraine. And I tell you, like uh, Hillary Clinton opening up this operation again is like Al Capone reopening a casino. We can presume there's going to be criminal activity, influence peddling. And I tell you, if you support Ukraine's cause. The last thing you want is Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton messing it up with their influence peddling. And uh, this is a way for them to accumulate power and provide a platform for them for their political purposes, in addition to, you know, paying the bills. Do you suppose that anyone from Haiti was consulted on whether the Clintons would be the best people to head up? such a large operation. There's millions and millions of dollars that are going to the Clinton Foundation from us and from other donors, um, and then they get to distribute it out. Let's talk about what they yeah, did in uh, Haiti. Uh, hey, yeah, Haiti's notorious for the Clintons. Obviously, Bill invaded Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then they ran this operation where a lot of friends of, of Bill and Hillary were there in Haiti, and Haitians to this day yes. resent the Clinton's involvement because they thought aid money uh, was diverted to their friends. And, you know, uh, when you have billions of dollars sloshing around in Ukraine, uh, who do you think is going to be attracted to this? Now, they're saying we're going to have heads of government involved and unions and the usual suspects. Uh, but uh, this highlights to me the concerns Americans have about aid in Ukraine. Uh, things are so bad that Hillary Clinton thinks that she can get a little bit of it. Uh, and uh, this is the sort of thing that, in my view, should alert law enforcement, given the prior activity of the Clinton Foundation, the Clinton right. Global Initiative, that there's an operation going on up there in New York that deserves monitoring. To say the least, um, this is really a shameless move on their part, considering the bad name, as you said, Hillary Clinton even go campaign in Haitian communities because they were so angry at the corruption um, that the Clinton Foundation uh, committed in their in, in Haiti. So. She, she got her, her Rachel just quickly sure. her foundation Bill's foundation got millions of dollars from a Ukrainian oligarch. Yeah. Yeah. What what a racket. It is a racket. Tom Fitton thank you for staying on this. Keep bringing us back more news on this because as you said um, this is not good. It looks terrible. Um, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.